Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is November the 9th of 2023, and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. Just a reminder, if you would like to continue to be notified of new videos as they come out, Please take a moment to subscribe if you have not yet done so and click the notification bell for notification of further videos. Also, if you would like a printed copy of this word today, please go to my website, click on the upper right hand corner of the word posted there and you will be able to access a downloadable printable PDF. To review previous words, please go to the archives. Once again, a thank you to those of you who continue to follow my channel, those who continue to comment and interact, and those who post encouraging words to let us know that these words are being a blessing to you. I appreciate hearing from you. In this world today, we wonder if there is a plan. Things seem to be chaotic as the shaking goes on, as changes are taking place, as we are entering unfamiliar territory and having to deal with major ethical issues in our everyday walk we can lose sight of the fact that God is in control and that he indeed has a plan for this world, that he has not left us on our own to struggle through with no hope of a future. In this word today, the Lord is encouraging us that he certainly does have a plan and that his plan is going forward. I hope this word blesses you today as you hear it. This word is titled, My Plan is Moving Ahead. I'll begin by reading scripture. 2 Timothy 4 verses 1 through 2. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and in view of his appearing, and his kingdom, I give you this charge. Preach the word, be prepared in season and out of season, correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. In this passage of scripture, we see that the Lord has given his people a mandate to preach the gospel message. This is part of God's plan. Matthew 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. This scripture verse as well encourages us that the preaching of the Word of God is a very important part of his plan, that this testimony must go forth to all the nations before the end comes. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 16 through 18 for the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. This passage of scripture identifies the fact that the Lord has planned his imminent return. 
Matthew 25, verse 34. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. This scripture highlights the fact that the Lord has prepared our inheritance, which is the kingdom of God. I'll begin reading this word. A new move of my spirit is coming, says the Lord. It will carry forth my plan to the nations. I am raising up a network of harvesters. Watch as I bring counsel and judgment into the lives of my people. I shall instruct the young, the young in the Lord. I shall increase my power in the earth and make a display of my splendor. All will know that the Lord God omnipotent reigns. I am coming back soon. Be prepared to be lifted up and taken up out of the world. Be ready to let go of earthly goods at the last trumpet. This is the day of my return. You ask why all the turmoil, all the grief, but I tell you, I am doing an awesome work in the earth. I am preparing a people for my return. All religion shall fall off as I intervene to bring release from its grip. Be ready to be taken up, for I am about to bring to pass all I have spoken, to bring it into order. Grief and sorrow shall be no more, for I am coming in power and might to bring release to the captives. Press in, press on in the call. I am opening doors for your household to come into order in this day. I will eradicate the enemy amongst you. I will bring into account those who have wronged you, those who have slighted you. I will bring accountability to those who claim positions of leadership. I will bring them into the counsel of the Lord. Watch to see what my hand will do amongst you. I will bring light and liberty to the house. I will drive out the unrepentant and bring holiness. Even now, I am working behind the scenes to evict the intruder. I will build my house and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I will delight myself in you, says the Lord. I will give to you riches untold. Do not believe the lies of the enemy. Do not bow down to the intimidator. You are being walked into your inheritance. I will shower you with blessings, release them from every direction, and deposit them within your midst. Do not let doubt block your thinking. I am moving you on and into position to delegate affairs. There are divine connections shaping up, taking place. Confirm them. They are a network. The high and lofty will be laid low. Those who promote self will be dethroned. This is a day of great change, says the Lord. I am turning things around for the benefit of my beloved. I am pulling up those things that are hindrances to the moving of my spirit. My desire is that you be a light to the lost, to the erring. You cannot be a light except that you reflect my glory. Take my glory to the nations. Send forth the word. This is the call upon your life. Multitudes are in the valley of decision. They need to hear the word of truth. I have given you the word, carry it forth with diligence. 
push on in the plan. Though things seem at a standstill, they are moving ahead. I will initiate change and give the grace to move in the midst of it to accomplish all my heart desires, says the Lord. In this word today, the Lord is telling us that His plan is in place and that it is moving forward. He is preparing His people for His return and He is walking us into our inheritance. He is pushing His plan forward, initiating change and giving us the grace to move forward into all that He has intended for us to do. The Lord is telling us He is removing all those things that interfere with His plan. He is bringing accountability, counsel, and liberty to His church, sending us forth with His word to preach the gospel to the ends of the earth. All of this is a part of his plan and he is moving it forth in this day. In all the confusion, in the chaos we see round about us, the Lord is still on the throne and his will and his purposes will be accomplished. I hope this word today has encouraged you. Nothing is standing still. Things are changing, but the most important thing is that the Lord is making His changes and pushing His plan forward. Only good things are ahead for those who put their trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. May we keep our eyes on Him. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings. Bye for now.